So hello everyone. So today um, I will be talking about uh, RetroPie and how you could uh, re you could delete RetroPie and reinstall it on your Raspberry Pi uh, single board computer. So for this one, this is the Raspberry Pi 3B Plus, and uh, the way you could um, reinstall delete it and reinstall it is uh, by going into RetroPie settings. So today I had a problem with uh, my uh, RetroPie in that uh, I accidentally went to RetroArch here and I messed up some of the con configuration settings on RetroArch and I couldn't use my controller but if you have a uh, USB controller USB keyboard like I have here I could use um, I could go into this menu and change it even if my uh, USB controller isn't working but the problem isn't just that so if you want to maneuver here with the keyboard it's uh, X to select so you just go to X again for input so I had a problem with the controller and I had to select the controller right now it's disabled so I just selected the controller now the controller should work I'm using the controller now and to go back it's uh, Z and X is to go in so after you do that you just go to press X again configuration file and save a new configuration and then everything should be okay press Z again and go press X to exit but this retro arc setting will um, change setting for every emulator except for the arcade emulators the arcade emulator won't work for some reason and there's no way to like go into the retro arc menu with the keyboard you can't go in there so what you do is you press the hotkey and the triangle button to get into uh, the menu here but you can't do that with um, you can't do that with the keyboard you could play a game with the keyboard by pressing 5 to enter coins and 1 to start and press X and Z as action buttons so Z is a shooting button right here but the problem is I can't go into uh, the retro arc menu to to uh, change settings so that's one of the problems that I had so in order for me to fix that what I had to do was I had to go into uh, retro Pi setup here and just delete RetroPie, uninstall RetroPie, which I did. This takes maybe uh, anywhere from 10 to 25 minutes. And then you have to reinstall <coughs> RetroPie, and this will take maybe 10, 10 to 15 minutes, and update RetroPie, and then you just perform a reboot. And all this may may take anywhere from 30 to 45 minutes. But the problem is when it reboots to uh, RetroPie, you don't go into the, the GUI menu or the graphical user interface menu or the emulation station menu you don't go here instead you go to command prompt like this and uh, for people who don't know how to use uh, the command prompt or terminal these they will be perplexed by seeing this and they won't know what's going on so when this happens you have to plug in a USB keyboard to your Raspberry Pi 
single board computer this just press enter okay first then type in emulation station and this will get you back into emulation station graphical user interface so this is where you end up and after you get here you still have to do something you gotta go back to RetroPie setup and then you have to make it boot into emulation station so I think it's configuration tools that's okay and you just go to auto start right there as you can see okay and you have to make it boot into emulation station or you can make it boot into Kodi if you want but it's emulation station you just press select and that's it go back here go back and then just perform a reboot and then it should just boot right into emulation station instead of a terminal or a command line because most of the time when you're using a retro pie you're not going to have a keyboard connected to it right so most likely you're just going to have a control pad connected to your Raspberry Pi with RetroPie in it. So this is how you want to, this is a screen you want to get to. And so now it's all set. So after you reinstalled, um, after you deleted RetroPie and reinstalled it and got all the updates, you just go, you'll be in terminal, you type in emulation station, go into the RetroPie uh, configuration file and then just uh, set it up basically and that's basically it so anyways thanks for watching by Ace1000KS1975 signing out